Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into the top 5 best 3D printers in 2025. The machines that are redefining creativity and innovation this year. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist, or professional maker, these 3D printers deliver top-notch performance, precision, and value. We'll explore their key features, pros and cons, and which one might be perfect for your needs. Stick around till the end to find out which 3D printer truly stands out as the best choice for 2025. And for more information and update pricing check the links in the description below like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates. Let's get start. Presented by the Gadgetex. Number 5. The Bamboo Lab A1 is a compact yet seriously capable 3D printer designed for creators who want speed, precision, and ease of use without paying a premium. Right out of the box, it feels polished. Setup is almost effortless, and the touchscreen interface is smooth and beginner-friendly. What impressed me most is the print quality even at high speeds. The first layers go down beautifully, and the overall finish rivals more expensive machines. If you pair it with the optional AMS light, you get access to multicolor printing, and it integrates perfectly with Bamboo Studio for seamless remote monitoring and automatic calibration. It genuinely feels like a plug-and-play machine rather than a tinkerer's project. However, the A1 does come with a few trade-offs you should know before buying. The AMS system tends to produce a noticeable amount of filament waste during color changes, which might bother those who care about material efficiency. Some users have reported occasional filament jams or nozzle drag depending on the infill style and filament type, though these issues can be minimized with settings adjustments. Also, like most bamboo printers, it keeps you fairly locked inside the bamboo ecosystem. Still, for its price, speed, and professional-looking results, the A1 easily stands out as one of the best entry-to-mid-level 3D printers right now. Number 4. The Elegant Neptune 4 Plus is a seriously impressive machine for creators who want professional-grade performance without a professional-grade price tag. Right out of the box, it stands out with its massive 320 by 320 by 400 mm build volume, perfect for printing helmets, cosplay armor, large prototypes, or multiple parts in one go. Combined with Clipper firmware pre-installed, you're getting ultra-fast printing speeds up to 500 mm per second with exceptional precision, which is a game-changer for productivity. The all-metal direct drive extruder handles flexible and specialty filaments with ease, while dual Z-axis support and auto-bed leveling ensure sharp, reliable results every single time. The user interface is beginner-friendly, yet advanced enough for hardcore tinkerers, it genuinely bridges both worlds. In real testing, the Neptune 4 Plus delivers performance on par with much more expensive printers. It's quiet, stable, and surprisingly low maintenance. The built-in AI print monitoring, customizable LED lighting, and quick heat PI build plate add convenience that you immediately appreciate during daily use. Whether you're running a small print farm, selling Etsy products, or just pushing big creative builds, this printer is made to keep up with you effortlessly. If you've outgrown basic budget printers and want a powerhouse without overspending, this is the upgrade you've been waiting for. Number 3. AnchorMix M5C shows exactly why the company is leaning hard into speed-first 3D printing. Right out of the box, it's designed to be plug and print with a fully assembled Core XY style frame, auto-leveling, and a direct drive extruder capable of pushing filament at 35mm superscript 3-s. That's seriously fast for its class. In testing, the acceleration and flow control AI really does help minimize ringing and stringing, keeping print quality surprisingly clean even at aggressive speeds. The M5C supports up to 0.3 mm layer heights for rapid prototyping, and the single button interaction system makes it approachable for first timers. However, this simplicity comes at a cost, no built-in screen, you're locked to the app slash PC slash slicer to control it. Where the M5C really shines is reliability at high throughput. Multiple 10-hour prints finished without jams or calibration drift. You're also getting solid aluminum build quality, PI flex plate, Wi-Fi connectivity, and time-lapse ready printing. The weak side? 
No enclosure for ABS slash Mylan users, limited advanced settings on printer side, and noise levels are noticeable during full speed runs. If your channel audience cares about functional prints, speed, and minimal tinkering, this is one of the most user-friendly entry to mid-range printers of 2025. Not perfect, but built for serious productivity rather than hobby slow printing. Number 2, the Creality Ender 3 V3 is a massive step forward from the legendary Ender lineup, and it's immediately clear that Creality focused on speed, rigidity, and out-of-the-box usability. Unlike older Ender models that required endless tinkering, the V3 arrives nearly pre-assembled with a robust Core XZ motion system, delivering incredibly fast print speeds up to 600 mm per second without sacrificing quality. The linear rails and redesigned metal frame drastically improve stability, while the new K1-style direct drive extruder ensures consistent filament feeding for both PLA and flexible materials. It also supports auto-bed leveling with precise dual-contact sensors, meaning beginners and pros alike can hit, print, immediately with confidence. This is possibly the most user-friendly ender yet. What stands out most in real-world testing is the balance between precision and raw power. The V3 maintains crisp details even at high speeds, which makes it ideal for prototyping, cosplay parts, and even small business production. The touchscreen UI feels refined, the firmware is smarter, and Wi-Fi slash cloud printing support adds modern flair. However, it still lacks an enclosure for advanced filaments like ABS or nylon. Overall, the Ender 3 V3 is a game-changing upgrade, finally giving users flagship-level performance at a mid-budget price, and I can confidently say it's one of the best printers in its class right now. Number 1. Chidi Plus 4 is a next-level prosumer 3D printer that feels like it's designed for creators who demand both speed and precision. Featuring a fully enclosed build chamber, direct drive extruder, and high temp compatibility, it's clearly engineered for advanced materials like nylon, carbon fiber, and polycarbonate, making it ideal not just for hobbyists, but for small businesses and prototyping professionals. The automatic bed leveling and AI-assisted chamber management reduce manual calibration, while the Core XY motion system delivers incredibly fast print speeds without compromising detail. Its large build volume lets you print full-size functional parts in one go, and the 7-inch touchscreen interface is surprisingly intuitive, with built-in project management and remote monitoring options. It really strikes the balance between professional-grade performance and plug-and-play usability. What impressed me most is how silent and stable the Chidi Plus 4 remains even during aggressive high-speed prints. The dual active filtration system ensures a safer indoor experience when working with engineering-grade filaments, and the included slicing software is one of the best tuned out of the box, something many competitors still struggle with. Whether you're producing automotive brackets, cosplay armor, or functional mechanical prototypes, the dimensional accuracy is outstanding with near-zero warping. If you're upgrading from consumer-level printers like Elegoo or Creality, this feels like a massive leap forward. The Chidi Plus 4 is a serious productivity machine, perfect for creators looking to level up without diving into complex manual firmware or custom cooling mods. The most recent and biggest hack please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and to subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and advice also if you have any questions or suggestions for products you'd like us to review please leave a comment below thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel to remain updated and see you in the next video forum.